Let's start off by creating a RESTful service using Node.js. Now, if you haven't worked with Node.js, this is going to be very, very basic. And the only reason I'm really going to use it is because we can write it in JavaScript. So the first thing I'm going to do is at the root, create a new file called server.js. Now from here, I'm going to paste in some code, and this is going to be Node.js code. Now this is code that you certainly can type in as we go here, but I'm going to save you watching me do that. Now you'll notice up top we need something called Express, and this is a module that's part of Node.js that can be used to easily make a RESTful API. In fact, you can see here, we have a Git type of API where you can go to customers based on ID, or you can just get all customers. What I'm going to do first off, though, before we even worry about Node and getting that installed and things like that, is go over to the factory. And in the factory, we had the customers hard coded. So I'm just going to grab these out. And we're going to take these customers now and put them back in this service. So I'm just going to put them right below here. Now that's going to take care of making these customers available. And now we can go ahead and expose those as you see right here. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now to run this, we do need Node.js. So if you head off to Node.js.org, you can install it. I'm going to go ahead and grab this really quickly. And it only takes just a moment to run it. So I'm going to go ahead and run it to get Node installed. And I'm going to go with all the defaults here. And there we have it, Node is now installed. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is go to the folder where this is at. So I'm gonna right click here and with brackets, you'll see a show in OS. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and hold shift and right click and go to open command window here. And I just wanna save us the trouble of navigating to this location. And now I'm gonna use something called the Node Package Manager to install Express and I'm just gonna install it locally and we need this Express module to make our RESTful service. Now this will take a little bit of time to run. And there we go, you can see we're all done. Okay, so now going back to brackets, we've just loaded up Express, and the rest of this just handles some RESTful calls, some Git calls up to this service, and we're gonna do this on port 8080. So to run this, I can actually go back and we can go into shift and right click and go to open command window and you simply type node server.js and I'll hit enter and we're gonna get prompted because we're on port 8080 here to allow access so I'm gonna say yes and now we're listening now I can go ahead and pop open the browser and we can test this out and I'm gonna go to localhost 8080 and then we're gonna go to customers and see what we get here. And it looks like it's up and running. So we are returning some JSON data back and our service is up and running. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that up and running. And in the next demonstration, we're gonna look at how we can actually call into this service using the HTTP service provided by AngularJS.